Hi, I'm Alvin, and in short set, I'm going to show you how to find and apply for jobs online. So today, I have with me the CEO of BT's consumer division, Mark Alira. My name's Mark Alera. I'm the CEO of the consumer division uh, within BT Groups. So that means I head up EE, the mobile network, the UK's biggest and, and best mobile network, as well as uh, BT, which is very famous, of course, for, for its broadband. Um, we also have BT Sport, BT TV, uh, and Plusnet as well in there. So we're, we're a big division. We serve uh, around 30 million customers and connections uh, up and down the country. Uh, we've got about 24,000 people in the team, um, and they range from sales, marketing, finance, technology, digital, you name it, we've, we've got every, everything in the team. It's a big team and uh, a great um, great time to be in technology and telecoms at the moment. I think it's part of what we do. Uh, uh, undeniably now, the, the role of having a social profile means that if we are, and I'm looking at candidates or my team are looking at candidates, we can search you up and, and we can see who you are. We can see what you're passionate about, uh, who you're following, what you're saying, um, what you're listening to, what sort of views you have. So I think, you know, that's a great thing. Um, but it's also something you need to take great care of uh, as, as yeah. well, because, you know, I always I always say to them, you know, I've got I've got young sons. I always say to them, um, you know, this is hard to do. But, you know, every time you're posting something or sharing something it, it is a it is a an, an imprint that will be there forever this is not about not having fun and not enjoying yourself um but it but it is about just being conscious of you know if you think of your if you think of brands that you know you 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 buy you respect you aspire to uh, be part of um you know from from you know nike to gucci burberry what, whatever it is you know brands are like personalities and, and your personal brand you know, you've got to think of yourself as a brand and, you know, what, what brands are is, is effectively and how people talk about brands is, is what, how people talk about you when you leave the room. You know, what are people saying about you? What do you stand for? What do you stand against? Uh, what your personal brand imprint that you want to leave on the world? I think it's a really important thing to think about. Whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing, whatever experiences you're claiming you've had, They've got to be authentic. And they've got to be real because people will find you out if, if they're not. So that's the that's the most important thing. Um, and and you know be 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 true to yourself. Um, people will will see through that, and that and that allows you then to 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 be yourself and bring your true self to work. So that's I think that's one of the most important things. I think be very conscious. I think in today's world where all sorts of algorithms basically once they sort of figure out if you like this you probably like that and and, and i think what's really important and we talk about you know creating a, a more diverse and inclusive society culture companies is so much in focus right now make sure you're you're reading and, and seeing and taking views from many different angles even if you don't agree with them make sure you see and understand the other side and i think that's very important and it's very easy in an online world, just to see more and more stuff from people that are giving you the same sort of information. You know, think about um, all the algorithms that are driving Netflix and you like this, you'll probably like that. What, what, that, what that is doing is basically making you watch more and more of the same stuff. And so, you know, if your politics are more to the right, re read what the left saying. You know, if you if you agree with this person, read what the person who disagrees with them says. And that makes you a much more I think a balanced individual um, be able to see both sides, and that's as, as we try and create a more inclusive culture and companies. That's that's incredibly important. You don't need to agree with them, but you need to understand their perspectives and where they're coming from. I, I just I just didn't give up. You know, you can you get you get told no many many times, and that and you can't take it personally. It's just at that time, that individual, that company doesn't need. Um, those skills or you know the sort of personality but that doesn't reflect on you it just it's, it's just more you know timing I think and and so you I think what's really important is just never give up you just keep on going the first job it may not feel like the the best most glamorous job does it sound great 
you know, but it gives you a rung, gives you a foot on the rung of the ladder, you know, the first thing. And, and from there, you'll learn. You'll learn what you like, what you don't like, and you can build a network and, and you can go from there. It's just, it's, I think it's important just to get started in work. Look at people, whether it's sports people, people in entertainment, music, or, or business. You know, they will tell you that they've all made mistakes. They've all had bad days or months. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're a sportsman or woman, there'll be times where you haven't performed and the media's on you and, you know, making you feel low or whatever. But but you've just got to keep going and you've got to, you've got to believe in yourself even when others may, may doubt you. And do, I think, do whatever you can to build your confidence, build your knowledge, build your skills and be an interesting person to talk to. Um, you know, think about yourself around a, you know, if you're around my table, you know, who, who, and if you think of yourself as a boss, what sort of people do you want around that table? You want to, you want a group of people with, you know, strong views and opinions on things with diverse perspectives that can make arguments for and against things that can help you decide. And ultimately when the chips are down, you know, they, they, they will rally around and work as a team and be, you know, brilliant, brilliant colleagues to be part of. So you, you've got to, you've got to think of your almost put yourself at, you know, around the table or put yourself in a boss's shoes and think if I was a boss, would I want me at my table? And, 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 and if the answer to that is no, right now, what, what would it take? <laughs> what would it take to, to change that answer? And what would it take to make that answer a more definitive one and, and work on those things, you know, and, and no one, no one's going to do it for you. Your, your career is, is really in your hands. And I think, I think the mistake a lot of people make, even, even um, very, very senior people is that they believe that companies and individuals are spending all of their time worrying about that person's career. And that is not the case. You know, we're all, busy people the 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 only person that can really shape your destiny is you